Hello, calculus students. Um, in this problem, we're going to um, put to use the um, information that uh, we've learned on um, projections and projecting one vector along another vector. Um, if you are unaware of that information, I have a video um, about uh, projections um, along vectors. Um, I recommend that you uh, check out that um, video um, before this one. Um, otherwise, you can just um, follow along with the formulas that um, I place into uh, this one. All right, so um, what we have here is um, a force vector um, uh, going down in the uh, negative j direction, and then um, this vector v um, going down in, I guess, kind of that direction, um, an i minus j direction. And uh, recall we have a, an angle theta um, between them. So I'm looking for the component of f that's parallel to v. So I'm looking for f parallel. In other words, I'm looking for the projection of f along v. Um, so recall that the projection of f along um, v is um, f parallel. It's um, this dot product. Um, so it's um, f dotted with um, the uh, unit vector in the v direction. Um, this is a scalar, so this will give us the magnitude of this vector, essentially, and um, and then it's going to be multiplied by the um, unit vector in the uh, v direction. Um, to utilize this formula, I'm going to have to um, compute the following um, information. So um, I'll get the length of v um, here, which is just um, 1 squared plus minus 1 squared, and that's just square root of 2. And then um, the unit vector in the v direction is v divided by the magnitude of v, so it's just going to be i over root 2 minus j over root 2. All right, then um, uh, if I just plug the um, relevant information into this formula, I get um, the projection of um, f along v is um, this uh, scalar product, so that is just going to be minus 17. Um, now it's just the j component, so remember j dot i will be 0. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I apologize. It's going to be 0i um, um, dot i um, because there's a 0i in this uh, vector, and so that's going to be 0. And then um, j dot j will give us the 1, so um, f dot ev is just simply um, 0 times um, 1 root 2 minus 17 times minus 1 root 2, and so we get 17 over root 2. So that's how we get this quantity here. And then the unit vector um, along the v direction we've just computed is 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2. So um, if I just distribute the um, scalar into this vector, I get um, this vector here, and the projection of f um, along v is um, 17 over 2 and minus 17 over 2. Um, okay, next I want to get the perpendicular um, component, and um, if this is the parallel component, then the perpendicular component is, of course, perpendicular to v, and um, if you just use the parallelogram law, that's um, this is f parallel, and then f perpendicular, the sum of those two vectors equals f. So f, um, broken into its components, um, there's a parallel component and a perpendicular component. Um, so to solve for the perpendicular component, I just subtract f parallel from both sides, and I get that f perpendicular is equal to f minus f parallel. Using that formula, f perpendicular is 0 minus 17 from this information up here, minus um, f parallel, which we computed up here, and I distribute the minus sign to this component, and I get a um, plus 17 over 2. So 0 minus 17 over 2 is minus 17 over 2, minus 17 minus minus, which is a plus, so minus 17 plus 17 over 2 gives us a minus 17 over 2. So on the perpendicular component, we have minus 17 over 2 minus 17 over 2. All right, next um, we're asked for the work done by the force F through displacement V. So um, I think of that as a work done by F in the V direction, and that just simply is F dot V. Um, so I just dot F and V and I get 17. And um, then I just fill in the answers here. And uh, I just put them in the I and J uh, components. All right, that is um, the solution to that problem. Good luck.